वेलकम ऑल ऑफ यू एंड माई दिस पर्टिकुलर वीडियो इज रिलेटेड टू द एच आर पार्ट एंड यू नो इन्फॉर्मेशन रिलेटेड टू डी आर डी ओ यू नो दिस डी आर डी ओ इज़ वन ऑफ द प्रीमियम रिसर्च इंस्टीट्यूट इन इंडिया सिमिलरली वी हैव बी आर सी एंड वी हैव आई एस आर ओ सो इन ऑल दिज रिसर्च ऑर्गेनाइजेशन वेन यू गो फॉर इंटरव्यू एच आर इज वेरी लेस कंपेयर टू द टेक्निकल क्वेश्चन दे आर गोइंग टू आस्क यू but as far as drdu is concerned certainly you will get opportunity to uh, give your introduction they will ask you to uh, you know introduce yourself first and in that introduction you get the chance to pull interview in particular direction normally the direction in which you pull the interview and they ask you uh, is related to your internship maybe related to your project and you related to your technical subjects Uh, so knowledge about drdu as organization is also important some part of that is important because sometimes they will ask you uh, you know something related to drdu now this particular document which you can download from our website this document is related to drdu uh, as organization and uh, this is the bare minimum information which you should carry with you when you go for the interview of this organization so let me discuss this particular uh, document with you Uh, as all of you are aware drdo is the research and development wing of ministry of defense government of india and uh, as you know this deals with state of art weapon system largely we know drdo you know because of indigenously developed uh, missile system uh, integrated defense uh, integrated missile development program it is called and a uh, couple of missiles uh, were developed under this particular entire project so we you know we we are self reliant and uh, in the field of uh, and in the field of defense uh, uh, protection and defense weapons that is what we can say and drdo was largely created for that particular reason so it is indigenous development and production of strategic system and platform agni and prithvi series of missiles are the two most successful and uh, they have already been commissioned with indian army indian army is the largest customer of drdo so they are commissioned with indian army as of now uh, then there are some another you know product of drdo which you should be aware and that is light combat aircraft tejas multi barrel rocket launcher pinaka uh, air defense system akash now when you talk about agni prithvi akash surya these all are missiles but as you know there are categories of the missiles let me tell you missiles are largely of two categories one is cruise missile which is brahmos and that is the most important product of drdo and we have developed that uh, in collaboration with russia so brahmos is the name from brahmaputra and you know one river in russia uh, so you know name uh, is came from there and brahmos is the most successful uh, cruise missile it's a very high mark mark number cruise missile another missiles are called uh, you know this uh, which missiles which go from one continent to another continent they are ballistic missiles they go out of the earth's atmosphere yeah, they go uh, beyond troposphere they go into other layer of the atmosphere and then again re enter the uh, atmosphere of earth so they are called ballistic missiles so cruise missile is cruising very close to the surface of earth whereas ballistic missiles you know uh, they come out of the atmosphere and then again re enter the atmosphere so cruise missile and ballistic missile two categories now these ballistic missiles are also low range high range like uh, prithvi is the lowest range and then comes agni and then you know surya is intercontinental i mean one continent to another continent maybe 5000 kilometers or 10000 kilometers something like that so uh, surya uh, we are still to you know commission that in the army we have not done that because of the restrictions from united states of america which is maybe 10000 kilometers away from india so so far our missiles can uh, you know hit some cities in china but not america so the moment uh, surya is commissioned we will be in the position to hit even american cities so that may be the reason so remember these names of these missiles and uh, other category classification of the missiles can be like you know earth uh, uh, earth surface to earth surface like prithvi or earth to air or earth to uh, sea or sea to land something like that from where you are firing and where it is hitting so air to air also that i mean from the plane you are firing some missile and it is hitting another plane that can also be there so there are different cl classification of the missile system that names you should know little bit names and uh, this some information about the product of the drdo also now drdo uh, some history i don't think is going to ask you about the history but yes uh, there was technical development establishment uh, it, it was formed in 1958 and uh, 
then you know how it evolved then it became the part of you know production defense production system and defense science organization so small part of the history though it is not very important now drdo has a vast you know network of the labs so i tell you if i compare the three premium research institutes in india drdo barc isro i must say that drdo has presence all over india across the length and breadth of india you go to leh ladakh you will find the lab of drdo you go to manali you find the lab of drdo you go to hyderabad bangalore uh, madras chennai so and uh, everywhere you will find the lab of drdo so there are 50 plus labs of drdo and also the domains in which uh, these labs are working so making juice to making the bulletproof jacket drdo is into everything so research uh, span of the research is also very very broad and also there are so many labs so that can also give you uh, you know the reason if they ask you ever that why you want to be part of drdo why you want to join as scientist in drdo so you can always say sir uh, that other than you know getting the feeling that i am working for indian india now because india drdo is the organization which gives self reliance uh, reliance to india in the field of defense uh, protection uh, so, you know pro uh, safety and security of the nation as far as the uh, defense production and defense uh, instruments are concerned so that is one reason another is uh, sir i want to pursue my own research interest which is very uh, broad and wide and drdo only provides me the opportunity for that so these are the some points which you can use in answering why you want to be the part of this so whenever you go for interview you should be clear about vision and mission of that particular organization so just to go through this empowering the nation with state of art indigenous defense technologies and systems those kind of vision and mission yes and you should always know who is the chief of particular organization like uh, dr kamath is the secretary department of defense r&d and chairman so he is the drdo chief as of now and then obviously ministers and minister of state you should know over the defense so then uh, a little bit idea about of when it all started making the missiles and all that you should know and uh, the first was project indigo i don't think uh, you should know the names that is required he is not going to ask you that but yes the name of the missiles like integrated guided missile Deve development program igmdp that is called integrated guided missile program uh, indira gandhi was the prime minister when she uh, you know provide this uh, this entire project was initiated and our ex president of india and missile man of india the great scientist dr kalam actually sought this particular project from then prime minister indira gandhi and it was very very successful project so agni missile prithvi missile these are ballistic missile akash trishul nag missiles uh, this nag is uh, fire and uh, fire forget kind of uh, you know missile system and uh, then uh, this is some information related to all the missile system so now they are also working on unmanned air vehicle technologies uh, some of the not very successful projects of drdo are arjuna tank so drdo wanted to make arjuna tank but you know it was not a very successful project on the part of drdo in my opinion this is the all information you should carry with you related to drdo if they ask you and when you go for the interview don't forget to go through the website of the organization and see the details what are mentioned on the website so take down this particular document from uh, your pedia website and uh, i am very sure uh, if he ask you some questions from here you will be in position to answer these questions and maybe if some more input you want to add in these pages you can do that so all the very best for your interview just go through these documents and go to your interview the first question introduce yourself and why you want to be part of drdo maybe you can answer from here thank you